All right, so the first thing you can do in Subnautica whenever you're bored is build a base and every single biome. Now, base building on its own already takes an extremely long amount of time unless you're like, I don't want to say not taking it seriously, but like, you know, you're not doing your due diligence. I don't really know how to how to phrase it. But, you know, you're just like, you know, throwing stuff out there. You're not really doing all that much because you don't really care that much. But, you know, if you do care a lot about base building, then it's going to take you quite some time to build a base in every single biome in the game, which is a good thing because you need stuff that'll keep you occupied whenever you're bored to do so building a base in every single biome in Subnautica is gonna not only you know occupied because you got to build a base for one a pretty good sized base unless you're going to build like small outposts so you got to build bases so that's going to take a long time and you also have to go to every single biome individually and then figure out how you're going to build a base in all the different biomes because all the biomes are different it's like a certain degree so you can't your base isn't gonna look the same in every single biome. With this, we're including the cave biomes as well. So you're gonna be building your base in like the Jelly Shroom Caves, the Inactive Lava Zone, Lost River, etc. So you're definitely gonna have to get more creative. To base building, already fun thing to do on its own. And doing it in all the different biomes is gonna make it a lot more interesting because you've got different scenery, different creatures that are gonna be in every biome with you. Now let's go to the next thing. All right, now the next thing you can do with Subnautica when you're bored is you can 1v1 a Reaper or fight a Reaper. Same diff, whatever. So, and honestly, you don't even have to do the Reaper it specifically. The Reaper was just the first thing that came to mind. But you can go out and fight any of the Leviathans in the game. Any of the aggressive ones, at least. So the Reaper, the Ghost Leviathan, Sea Dragon, you can fight any of those. But yeah, there's multiple ways you can go about fighting a Reaper. And the most fun way, in my opinion, is using the Prawn Suit with a Drill Arm and using the Grapple Arm. Oh, I said that right, yeah. So what you're going to do is basically, whenever the Reaper gets around or close to you, you're going to grapple onto its body with the Grapple Arm. And then you're gonna basically ride the reaper and attack it while you're with your drill arm like while you're attached to it it's kind of fun because it's going to be swimming around and you're going to be floating around with him it's going to be a little bit hectic but you know it's a fun experience overall the other ways you can fight the reaper is also using your stasis rifle yeah a little 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 boring i'd say but you know it gets the job done you can also use your Seamoth and use Gas Torpedoes on the Reaper because those do pretty good damage as well. Like a Gas Torpedo and Stasis Rifle combo. I don't know if Vortex Torpedoes work on the Reapers. I haven't tried it, but if it does, then y'all can feel free to let me know. Just like, yeah, fighting the Reaper or any of the aggressive lot. Blah, blah, blah. Any of the aggressive Leviathans is something you can definitely do when you're bored in this game. And with that, let's go to the next thing, if you can stop chasing me. All right, and the next thing you can do whenever you're bored in Subnautica is completely fill out your PDA. Now, I'm not just talking about, like, creatures and stuff like that. I'm talking about, like, every single item that you can scan in this game. Yep, even these little coral shell plates. So you're going to go around the map, the entire map of Subnautica, and you're going to scan every plant, creature, Leviathan, uh... A uh, 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 resource. You're also going to be scanning the resources. You're going to want to fill out every your entire PDA, basically. It's another really time-consuming task because you have to go around the entire map and check every biome, every nook and cranny for stuff that you haven't scanned yet. And another bonus that comes with this is also that it gives you some information, some background information on the stuff that you're scanning, which is a little can be it can be interesting to read sometimes, especially with the creatures. I think the creatures are the most interesting thing to read up on. But yeah, scanning everything in Zimotica, super time consuming task, and it also allows you to explore all the biomes to like to your fullest extent. So that's something else you can do when you're bored in this game. And let's go on to the last thing. The last thing and this thing kind of connect with each other. So yeah. So the very last thing you can do on this list whenever you're bored in Zimotica is go around the map and collect every creature, egg, uh, resource, plant, etc. You're going to collect every little thing in the world of Subnautica and you're going to put it in one giant base all for, I don't know, like future research or something. So you're basically going to turn into like a marine bi a biologist. I don't know what I was about to say. You're going to collect everything that you can possibly collect. You can't get the leviathans, like leviathan eggs or anything like that, unfortunately. But, you know, you can get these fish. You can get the eggs of the of some of the aggressive creatures, patch those in like an alien containment. You're also gonna collect all the resources like I'm doing right now. So you're gonna have all those resources. You're gonna put them all in like one giant, maybe not one giant locker, but you're gonna organize everything. But yeah, this is another time consuming, super time consuming task. Just like the last thing I showed, you know, like filling out your PDA entirely, this is gonna be a little bit harder to do. Then filling out your PDA because you're going to be collecting, you're going to need every single resource and every creature, every creature that you can pick up at least, all the creature egg, and we are including cuttlefish as well. Still something pretty cool to do because for one, you'd have to go around and collect everything. That's already time consuming enough. And then you got to build the base, a good booking base, and it's, it's got to be a pretty big one to house everything. 
And then you have to organize everything and make it look all neat. So it's super time consuming, really good thing to do if you're bored, because it'll take up a lot of your time, entertain you for a little while, and it'll allow you to explore the game to the fullest extent. On this list, at least, I may, I may make another one in the future. But yeah, that is all I have for y'all, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.